Last night, I was asked by somebody who was having a hard time with his faith and he didn't understand how it was that if God created everything on earth, that God couldn't or wouldn't take responsibility for the fact that he created sin. This was a problem for him. He was sorting through this and he was really wrestling with his faith, trying to figure out where he sat on this topic and how it impacted his belief in Jesus and God. And I wrestled with this a little bit, but I managed to pull out an answer that I think made sense to me, and I'd like to offer it as a suggestion to you. It's this. So, if God created everything, his logical understanding was, well, would he not have created sin too? Well, my thought was this. No, not necessarily. You see, God created everything perfect. Everything that God created, he intended to be used for his glory in a good way. Whatever that might be. So, um, I create pipes. I create them well. I create them for the purpose of transporting water to my home or gas or whatever. So, if I create a pipe with a good, perfect purpose, is it my responsibility that somebody decided to take a piece of that pipe and make a bomb out of it? Do I have to take responsibility for the fact that somebody took what I created and what I intended for good and used it for bad. See, it works the same way with God. Well, his question to that was, well, does, I, don't, I don't understand. Someone had to have the option to choose to do bad. So God created people with the propensity or potential for sin to take something that he made and to use it in a way that he didn't intend. Well, yes and no. He gave us free will. Yes. Well, then free will is imperfect, he thought. And I said, no, free will is vital. It's important. If he did not create us with free will, then he didn't create us with the opportunity or option to choose relationship with him. He didn't create us then with choice then we'd be like robots. You've probably heard that before. We wouldn't have the opportunity to choose him, to choose relationship, to have the beauty of what relationship looks like with God. So in order for God to give us the option to choose free will, it also gave us the option to choose to destroy or take something that he created perfect and make it imperfect. That's what free will caused and created. And yet without it, we wouldn't be human beings. We wouldn't have choice, wouldn't have relationship, wouldn't have and be people with this beautiful option to choose, good or bad, God or not God. And so I hope that that helped him, but more importantly, I hope it helps you. To me, it really helped me grasp and wrestle with this idea that did God create sin? No, he created free will and the option for us to choose whether we're going to take other things that he's created and turn them away from what he intended them to be. Um, so consider that next time you wonder about how it is that we live in this world and if God creates things and only things that are perfect, then how are they twisted? How is there sin? How is there things that aren't perfect? Well, that lies in what we have chosen to do with this gift that he gave us, which was intended to be perfect and result in beautiful relationships with our Creator. Hope that's uh, intriguing and adds some thought to your day, your life, and your spirituality. May you find Jesus a little more every day.